For Jean-Paul Sartre, freedom was everything. The lover wants to be loved, but not by someone who has taken a love potion. He wants to be loved by someone who has freely chosen to love him. The kind of possession we seek in loving someone else is completely different from the possession of a thing, because a thing can't possess us back. But for Sartre, the reality of romantic love isn't blissful mutual respect and emerging of freedoms. Far from it. Love is conflict. The loved person wants the other's love, needs her to help him reveal who he is, yet, in doing this, he risks transforming himself from a subject into an object, becoming a mere possession constrained by her vision of him. And it gets worse. As a loved one, the lover doesn't want his lover's love of him to end, doesn't want her to find love elsewhere. But that's not anything a free person could guarantee. Real freedom means freedom to change your mind, freedom to fall out of love. For Sartre, then, love is hazardous. It's either masochism or sadism. Masochism, when a lover tries to become what he thinks his lover wants him to be, and in the process denies his own freedom. Sadism, when a lover treats the loved one as an object and ties her down. Either way, freedom is compromised, and love becomes a painful struggle.